Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my final New Year's Eve look and I am doing two different lip options so make sure to watch until the end. I kind of wanted to do this video because um, the first video that I did this week was a black smoky eye. Um, I feel like I haven't, I, like I hadn't done a smoky eye in a really long time using black so I wanted to make sure that I got that and I liked the little like silver glitter it just kind of like reminded me of New Year's Eve but I also kind of wanted to do an alternative for people that don't really want to go all in with the smoky eye and do black so I kind of wanted to do like the browns um I feel like those work really well on everybody I feel like brown is a pretty universal color so <laughs> I also wanted to do that and yeah I wanted to pair it with a deep red lip and one other lip um, that you'll see in the end so if you guys like this look and you want to see the other lip option uh, just stay tuned <laughs> Alright, so I have already primed my eye with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my Cala 415 brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Bandwagon from Makeup Geek, which is that one right there. And I'm just going to use that one as my transition shade. And I'm like very gently brushing this over my skin, which really helps to like smoke it out a lot. It's not just kind of making like a line across our lid. If you watch my, um, I think it was the, it was the first New Year's Eve look that I did this week. Um, where I did like the black smoky eye and then the silver glitter on the inner corner. This is very much like the same technique. Um, I'm just swapping out the colors pretty much. Alright, I'm also going to run this underneath of my eye. And I'm not going very far down with the colors, um, just because, like I said in the um, the black smoky eye tutorial, is I don't want to like load a bunch of the dark color on the underside of my eye, um, just because that tends to kind of make your eyes be like drawn down um, when you're using like dark shades like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just I'm not gonna go any lower than where like the tips of my lower lashes are. Um, you, I mean, feel free to go as far down as you want. You can go grungy, whatever. But, um, today I just kind of want, like, the drama to be on the top and for my eyes to be drawn up, not down. Alright, so then after that, on my Morphe M330 brush, I'm gonna grab Brownie Points from Makeup Geek, which is that one right there. And I'm just going to throw that one kind of in the crease, but, like, higher than the crease, but below where we just put the top of that transition shade. And again, I'm just using really like light strokes against my skin just because I don't want to go in and make the eyeshadow kind of like messy looking. I'm just kind of barely even touching my skin with it so that all of the colors really like fade together nicely. All right, and then on my Glam and Beauty little pencil brush, I'm just gonna pick up some more of that brownie bits and again, just run it along my lower lash line. Alright, and then on my Morphe M330, I'm going to pick up some of the shade Chocolate from TG, which is this really nice, like, deep chocolatey shade. Hopefully that is focusing. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to buff that into the crease, and again, just kind of keeping it a little bit below where we put brownie bits. So I'm kind of, like, working from, like, the top up here, and then, like, stepping down to deeper colors. And I'm just picking up a little bit at a time and working this in because like I said in the black smoky eye when you go in with like these dark colors they can be kind of um if you if you go in with like just a bunch of the pigment they can be kind of hard to blend after that so if you just go in with like a little bit at a time and blend it out a little bit at a time it really kind of makes things like smoke out nicely All right, and then just switching brushes again over to my Japanesque 230 brush. And I'm going to just use that to pick up some more of that chocolate shade and I'm going to pack that onto my lid. This is honestly like a really simple look. It's only, I mean, you've seen it's only been three eyeshadows. 
so the biggest part of this is just to make sure that everything is really like blended together good and i'm just making sure to bring this up to where we put it down in the crease so that there's no like like gap right here of where there isn't any eyeshadow okay and then again just switching my brush over to my morphe mb47 brush which is this this um flat top like square brush and i'm gonna grab just a little bit of that chocolate and i'm gonna pat it along my lower lash line and when i do that i'm gonna kind of like press it and then lightly flick it down so that it doesn't just look like it's just a line along our lower lash line it's kind of a line that fades in with like everything else that we have already laid down <laughs> so i'm kind of like patting it and flicking it Okay, so then as I always do, um, with especially with looks like this, I'm going to start to work backwards. So now on my Morphe um, M330, I'm going to grab some more of that brownie bits color, and I'm just going to kind of use that to help me blend out this chocolate color that we laid down. So I'm going to just kind of go over where we put chocolate. really helps to like make the eyeshadow look blown out. I think that's like my favorite part of this look is just like the um like the intensity of the color but then as it goes outward it's really just like blended and fades all the way out all right and then switching to my glam and beauty brush and just doing the same thing along the bottom and just very gently running along where we put chocolate to help blend everything together and then just finally on my cala 415 brush doing the same thing with what is this color again? With bandwagon. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm going to do with this eyeshadow is I kind of wanted to like stick with the whole like golden highlight that I have going on here. So I'm going to pick up some of the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. I talked about this in the video that I posted yesterday um, where I tried it for the first time and I'm not even joking. Like this is the prettiest highlighter that I own and I have so many highlighters. <laughs> it's like the most intense just like... I can see this on so many different people, from people with my pale skin all the way to people with like deep skin. This would be gorgeous. So I'm just going to grab some of that on my little MAC shadow brush and I'm going to pop that on my inner corner and on the brow bone. I really need to just like take this brush to a MAC store and have them help me compare it to what they have and figure out the actual name for this because it's like an old brush and I think that they have kind of like changed all their brushes up since I found this. Um, so I don't know what it is. I just know it's like a small little kind of like, kind of like my Japanese brush where it like packs it, the color on my lid, but it's just small. <laughs> and when I'm putting this highlighter on my brow bone, I am bringing it all the way out here and I'm kind of like looping it around with the highlighter that I have laid down so when we move it I don't know if you can see I can't watch myself do this but so this whole area here is kind of highlighted and I'm just going to make sure with my Cala brush that that is really blended together with the eyeshadow I don't want it to look messy Alrighty, so now I'm just going to throw on my Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara as always and my other Salon Perfect 615 lash and I will be right back Okay, so hopefully I'm zoomed into the same, like, area here <laughs> because I, like, turn my camera off in order to do my mascara and my lashes, and when I turn it back on, like, I have to re-zoom it in, and I didn't realize that I could actually just, like, pay attention to the number that it shows me at the beginning, so hopefully I'm zoomed into the same spot here. Anyways, so while my lash glue is drying, I'm just going to go ahead and do my lips. And today I am doing two different lip options for people that like a good old fashioned nude lip and people that like a red lip. <laughs> so first I'm going to do the nude lip. And today I'm just going to use the shade Blankety from MAC, my favorite nude lipstick. And I'm not going to line my lips because I like this shade the way that it is and all my nude um, lip liners are darker than this. So I don't want to darken it.
and I'm just gonna pat over that with my finger to make it like set in a little bit better and make it a little bit more comfy. And I'm just gonna take this little e.l.f. concealer brush and with nothing on it, I'm just gonna run it along the lines just to kind of sharpen up the edges. All right, so this is the nude lip option. This is the whole look with that, um, which I love. I love a nude lip and I love blankety. It's my favorite nude lip. All right, so now I'm going to wipe this off, unfortunately, because I like this look a lot. I might end up putting this back on, <laughs> but I'm gonna try a lip, a red lip, not a lead rip. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so for the red lip option, I'm just going to be using um, this shade adoring from the balm it's one of the meat matte hues like long lasting kind of liquid lip it is a liquid lipstick but it kind of feels more like the um the soft matte lip creams from nyx that's kind of like an equivalent and i think i am gonna line my lips just because this one has like the little like this type of an applicator and i can kind of mess those up so <laughs> I think I'm actually, I don't know if I've ever tried this one before, but I think I'm going to line my lips with the L'Oreal Infallible um, Never Fail Lip Liner in the shade Plum. Okay, so like I said, this is the first time that I've used this lip liner. And it's actually really nice. I like it. it I like the um, feeling of it because it's not, it's not like super dry that it feels like it's like tugging at my skin, but it's also not really creamy, which is great because I don't want to feel like it's going to bleed. All right, so yeah, now I'm just going to fill in the lines with the shade Adoring. Right, and I'm also just going to clean up the lines of that e.l.f. brush. Alrighty, and this is the red lip option, which um, I love the, I don't know, this is the only one of these Meet Matt Hughes liquid lipsticks that I have from the Balm, and I don't know if they're all like this, but this specific one smells so good um it smells like it has like a peppermint smell to it but it's not just like straight like like if you had peppermint gum like that's not what it smells like it smells like peppermint bark so like the um the little like the melted white chocolate and with like the little pieces of peppermint that is literally what this smells like and it smells so flipping good and also now that i have it on my lips I thought that it was similar to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, but it is a little bit different. It is um, a little bit more like a liquid lipstick, whereas the Soft Matte Lip Cream, I feel like that moves around a lot more on my lips, um, whereas this, it feels like the comfort of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, like the, um, like the softness and the feel on your lips, but it doesn't move around. It has like the staying power of a liquid lipstick, so that's nice. Alrighty, so this is the completed look, and I think I am actually going to stick with the red lips. I didn't think I was going to. I thought I was going to, like, switch it out for the nude, but I'm actually really kind of liking this red lipstick for a change. Alrighty, so I am going to get off of here, and I'm going to try to quickly edit this video because I, like, normally I film... Um, a couple days ahead of time and then I edit them and schedule them to post the day of, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, I'm very behind and it is now Saturday and this is Saturday's video so I'm going to hurry up and try to get this posted by 7 o'clock tonight. So yeah, if you guys like this look, if you like this video, make sure to hit like down below and to subscribe subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So all of the products that I use, brushes, um, jewelry that I'm wearing that you probably couldn't see through the entire video anyway, um, all of that stuff is always listed down below as well as my social. Um, I hope you all have a great day and a great New Year's Eve tomorrow. Um, stay safe, have fun, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!